Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Schlossberg. I'm a state representative for the 132nd District in Allentown. It's an honor to virtually join you today, like everybody else was planning on doing the walk with you folks, and I'm so sorry that I can't make it. Um, but quickly, I just, first of all, I want to say thank you, because events like these are so important, and they're probably now more important than ever. All of us who have been, you know, in some form of state home isolation for the past month or so understand the toll that it can take on our mental health. And I deeply worry about what happens to people who don't maybe have the access to the resources or to the assistance that they need and that they deserve. My job in the legislature has really revolved around mental illness and suicide prevention. I've been an advocate for that, but I can't do any of the work that I do without the assistance of folks like you, who are quite literally, or at least would have been if not for this pandemic, on the ground trying to raise awareness about this important cause. Right now, I know it seems like nobody's talking about anything other than Corona, but believe it or not, one day this will fade and we will get back to normal. But we will have to deal with the after effects. Mental illness and suicide were both increasingly important problems that those of us in public policy and folks like you on the ground were trying to deal with. And in the aftermath of this disaster and the economic havoc that it has unquestionably bring and will continue to bring, I think there is a obligation more than ever for us to have conversations about mental illness, to have conversations about suicide, and to do whatever we can to reduce both of these and bring awareness to it. So again, thank you for continuing to advocate in these very strange circumstances. Thank you for forgiving me, joining you folks digitally. My apologies for the hair. Like so many of you, I can't get a haircut. It's not pretty, but thank you for the work that you're doing. We need people like you more than ever. Have a wonderful day and keep up the good fight. Good morning, my name is Erica Pinella and my family has been forever changed by suicide. On February 3rd, 2006, I answered a phone call from my mother that would be a turning point in my life. She told me that my pop pop had died. <clears throat> Through the fog of dif disbelief and fear, I heard the word suicide. I hung up the phone, not meaning to cut off my mother so many emotions were raging through my body at one time and the tears started falling. I was sobbing. A sound I had never heard before came out of my body. My heart was literally breaking. My daughter, who was only six at the time, came running from the bedroom. I remember hugging her and she told me that she loves me. I could barely hear her sweet little voice through the ringing that in my ears. I can tell you that my world had been flipped upside down, forward and backward and dropped like a lead balloon. The pain and the anguish were excruciating. There were many days that I didn't know if I could survive my feelings. On December 15th, 2008, I answered another phone call from my mother. She told me that my sister had died. And again, I heard the word suicide. Again, I hung up on my mother. And again, I felt myself drowning in a pool of grief. I lived mechanically for many years, going through the motions of life. I tortured myself with thoughts that I could have saved them if I would have just been paying closer attention. The grief journey was not pleasant and I was scared that I wouldn't make it out alive. After years of counseling, support groups, and my own personal recovery from substance use disorder, I can share with you that I made it out alive. I use my story as ammunition. I use my story to identify with others. And I share my story so I can continue to heal because the feelings of grief can still show up in my life. I can now see their lives and the impact that they both had on me. I no longer keep myself in the darkness. I will share this in closing. My wedding was on October 19th, 2019. This was a very special day, not only because there was a dress, food and laughter, but because it was my sister's birthday. We had a memorial cake for her. Her daughter was one of the bridesmaids because my sister couldn't be. I heard my sister's laugh that day and I felt her presence. My grandfather was supposed to be the man to walk me down the aisle, 
but my uncle and my brother did. I wore my grandfather's class ring that day and I could smell his cologne while I was walking down the aisle. I also felt his warmth surround me. They live inside my heart and my soul every day and I know that they're my biggest cheerleaders in my life because I know that they are proud of me. My name is Erica Pinella and I have survived the grief of suicide. Hey everybody, it's Joan Timalonis. Hope you're doing well during this time. We're all in the storm, but we're all in different boats. I'm here to thank everyone on my Theta Road team for participating in the Out of Darkness Walk. Even though it's virtual, we can still make a difference. I've got my t-shirt on from last year. I want to give a shout out to my team members, Todd, Amy, Michelle, and Christine. And I just want to say as nurses, we all know people who have had to deal with um, mental health issues and suicide is a real concern. So I'm asking you all to be kind, to be aware, and to participate in, if, in this walk if you can. Reach out to someone else and let them know that you care. I hope the walk goes well and I'm thinking about everyone. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. It is physical distancing, not social distancing. Log on to AFSP.org to donate. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who's here to join us today, and thank you for, to everyone who made this possible. Although we cannot be walking physically together, here we are virtually coming together as a team and providing hope for those who've lost a loved one to suicide. I'm here today walking for those who can't be walking with us, and I want to leave everyone with a reminder that you are not alone, and no matter how dark the place is, there is hope. And if you know someone who's struggling or you yourself are struggling, please reach out for help. There are so many people who want to support you. So again, thank you everyone for joining us today and I hope you all feel loved and reminded that there is hope and you're not alone. <laughs>